for six months of growing and eighty dollars worth of compost you too can grow three dollars worth of potatoes Hey guys, today's just gonna be a little uh, day in the life on the farm, I guess. Not really a farm, but day in the life in the garden with chickens. I'm gonna try to get the last of our garden harvest out of uh, our garden. There's a few like straggler tomatoes. Some might be green, some not. I'm just gonna grab them all. And anything else that might be edible that's left in our garden, I'm gonna try to harvest now. I'm gonna be harvesting the onions, potatoes, and tomatoes. That's about all we have left growing in our garden. Hi ladies. Come on, let's come back in. Oh, sorry. All right, let's get you guys some grains. Looks like you already opened it. You got water? Spilled it all. Because you're just so thirsty because you spill all your water. You guys wouldn't be so thirsty if you just didn't spill your water. We didn't get eggs yesterday. We might not have gotten them the day before. We've been really busy this weekend. We went to a little train show for our son, a uh, pumpkin patch, and we also went to an apple orchard to pick fresh apples from the field. The eggs kind of got left. I think our one broody hen is no longer broody. Like she was not leaving the eggs. She was kind of, that's why these don't have nesting materials because she was kicking them down every day. Like we would come in and she would kick the nesting material down to get the eggs out of it. She was collecting the eggs in a corner, trying to steal everyone's eggs. And we don't have a rooster, so like she's broody, but like, honey, that ain't happening. These eggs are never gonna hatch. Long story short, we've got about a million eggs. If you're growing tomatoes and you wonder why they crack like this, it's due to inconsistent watering. So these had been underwatered in the hottest parts of their growing season. And then within the last couple of weeks, we've had a ton of rain here in Washington. All the excess water causes a crazy amount of growth all at once. It's basically like stretch marks on a human. These ones <laughs> don't have time to heal over. They will heal over, but they're still totally edible. I usually just cut that part off and then I'll use the rest of the tomato. This one is maybe a little too much for me. Like it's pretty split open. So that one might go to the chickens. But I'm just gonna collect them all and feed the weird ones to the chickens. chickens are really spoiled. When you throw them tomatoes, they just kind of look at you like, and do you have anything else? Because they're so used to us throwing the leftover tomatoes that slugs have gotten. This is unfortunate. This is a Barry's crazy cherry and we just never got around to picking them and our son really wasn't interested in tomatoes as much this year. We kind of grew them for him and he didn't, he didn't really care much for them. So <laughs> they go crazy though. They really are Barry's crazy cherry. They grow in huge, huge clusters like this, but all of these are weird already. Okay, well, that's a big tomato harvest. I think we're gonna have to bring that in and come back out. So here's the harvest for the chickens. I'm gonna peel or shake off uh, all the stems and leaves, and they're gonna have all the, the broken open weirds that uh, I didn't feel like we would wanna eat. They can't eat the stems or the leaves of the tomato plant. They're actually toxic to chickens, so make sure you don't feed them the actual plant, just the tomatoes. And you're gonna see right now that they don't care about tomatoes. Like, not really, anyway. See, they're just trying to get past it. They're like, let me get grass. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We gotta go back, we gotta go back. It's a chaotic. Come on, you guys are ungrateful. Spoiled. I'll give you some grass too, okay? Jeesh. Typical reaction from our chickens. They're just like, eh, what else you got? I don't care about the tomatoes. I've had a million tomatoes. We got some onions. Our onions didn't do terribly, but they didn't do great. I don't think we added enough compost for these and we didn't fertilize them enough throughout the growing season. They did all right though. We're supposed to be probably about double the size. I think next year, 
we're gonna have way better luck with our onions. So this row and this row were our potato rows, but they've kind of been overtaken by tomato plants. That one's overtaken by raspberry vines. Pretty much everything except for tomato, or <laughs> potatoes are growing in them. So I'm gonna try digging them up and see what's in there. Next year we're gonna do potatoes differently. That's the biggest one. Biggest one yet, guys. Maybe the biggest one of all. All right, I'm gonna trim all this stuff back. <laughs> Those are potatoes. Wow. Ah, got a decent one. Oh, they're hiding. Oh, the jackpot. All right, guys. Well, these are like tiny, but at least there's more than one per plant. Something went right here. Ha There's no potatoes. Oh, it's only raspberry roots. Oh, that's why you're not supposed to use these for harvesting the potatoes. We did get some potatoes though, even if it is only 10 pounds, where we should have had 50. For six months of growing, and $80 worth of compost, you too can grow $3 worth of potatoes. Don't forget. It's like, oh, is that a big potato? No, that's a freaking rock. Gosh. Harvesting pumpkins, all six of them. Maybe we have more than that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, plus the whites, eight, nine, 10. I'd say that's a successful pumpkin year. I really wouldn't actually, because that takes up two full garden beds. <sighs> so next year, we're not gonna do pumpkins in the garden. We're gonna do a pumpkin patch elsewhere on the property. As of now, I'm gonna be harvesting these suckas. All right, let's see if the slugs got them. I have no idea the variety of pumpkin, but it's cute. Who took all the tags? All right, so that's cute. Adorable. Look at its curly little stem with its little curly cues. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. This one's not done yet, I don't think. Maybe its not. stem, oh, it popped off. It's done now. Cute as can be. Warty. Oh, for crying out, pumpkins. <gasps> acorn? Looks like an acorn to me. I didn't know those were even in there. I had no idea these were here. Is this gonna give us squash belly? Or is this one of the ones we planted? Actually, I probably won't eat that, but it's really cute. It's really cute, you guys. Please, we grew the cutest thing I've ever seen. Coming out here in these shoes during spider season feels really good. Hey, Shears, why don't you just be absolutely garbage piece of crap, why don't you? Oh, something took one bite out of you. Looks like a squirrel. Oh, you spiky little bitch. Ow! Have you ever felt how spiky these are? Stupid slugs. Maybe this will be the one we give to the chickens to carve. Yeah, that's a good idea. If these have holes in them, so help me God. I'll do nothing about it, but I'll be quite infuriated. Not super squish. 
What are you? I don't even remember planting something so cute. I think this one's okay. That's cute. So cute, look at it. Oh my gosh. Right down in there. See it? Mm -hmm. Yep. You want the snips? Yeah. I told you they're pokey as hell. all of our pathetic little harvest. Okay, it's not pathetic, it's darling. That's gonna decorate our porch really cute. You know what, I don't like your attitude. Here's our pumpkin harvest for the year. Not too shabby. It's better than last year's, I think. I think we had bigger pumpkins last year, but... Less. Less. And now, next year will he be even more? Yeah, and bigger. So, yep. Cute. Oh, for crying out, Pete. Yay! <laughs> it's so cute. This one's my favorite. Little acorn? Yeah. Okay, guys, and that is our pumpkin harvest. Is it the cutest thing you've ever seen or what? I think so. We didn't have to buy a single one of these pumpkins. That's very exciting. All right, guys. This is everything I was able to uh, harvest today, collect out of the garden. I think this is probably gonna be the last time getting anything edible out of the garden. So that's why I just grabbed all the green tomatoes and all the potatoes that I could. Onions didn't really do well, but that's everything. Probably end up dehydrating a lot of the onions. The tomatoes will probably freeze. And with the potatoes, we'll probably use some of them this week and the rest we will freeze. That's gonna be the full video. Let me know in the comments, like any kind of recipes that I should be making with these. Mostly we're just making tomato sauce with the tomatoes and with the onions, we are um, dehydrating them into onion powder. We need different ways to preserve food because we have like 80 pounds of tomatoes right now. So let me know in the comments any ways uh, that we can preserve tomatoes or potatoes or onions. So. I'm gonna show you the coolest tree because I know you guys are all on the edge of your seat to see the coolest tree. Yeah. It is as majestic as I, as I said it was, huh? Well, I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We will see you at the next one.